Hello everyone, the Sickly Arrow Fight with you once again, and uh, today I'm just going to show you something just for pure fun, basically. I'm in Snapshot 13W37B, which is a 1.7 snapshot. It's the second one to be released, but I imagine that this will work in any snapshot or 1.7 when it comes out that uh, you want to do, and anything uh, above that, unless they just drastically change the way that metadata tags work. Okay, so basically, I have a TNT cannon. And it shoots in the same place every time, which I think is going to be super useful for uh, map makers especially. But uh, I just think it's neat in general, right? Um, now, it doesn't have to be TNT though, it can be any entity. And uh, so the easiest way to tell what entities there are, in my opinion, is do summon, or dash summon, you know, and then tab. And these are all the entities that you can use that are in here to do. Now, I used Prime TNT. Um, uh, for this, just because I think TNT cannons people like a lot, and stuff like that. So, let's get on to what the actual command is. It is summoned, primed TNT, only the first T is capitalized. That was my mistake the first time I did it, I thought all were capitalized, it's not. I summoned it a little to the right of the command block, which for me was negative 1 in the X direction. And then the fuse I set to 10, which is the how many ticks, in-game ticks, it's going to take for that fuse to blow. And you can set this uh, to, I haven't tested the uh, max amount or anything like that, but for the best of my knowledge, it is just a big number. Okay, so then the motion tag, which this is the one that's really super special, and I can't say that I came up with this motion all on my own. As a matter of fact, uh, my friend Sparks from Accidental Games was the first one to show me the motion tag and uh, I just sort of used it in this tutorial so all the credit can't go to me there but um, and plus I'm sure other people have found it too anyway the motion tag requires three doubles or floats whichever one and basically that means it has to be a number with a decimal place now for some reason unlike a lot of tags the motion tag actually requires that you have the decimal places so regardless as to whether you want them or not you have to have them. So you can't just put 4, you got to put 4.0. Uh, and then these are just like coordinates. So this is, you know, 2 in the x direction, 1 in the y direction, 4 in the z direction. And since they are momentum, it's not just 4 blocks, it's, you know, the speed 4. And I think 10 is the max that you can do this. Um, don't ask me what the speed 4 is, but it's faster than speed 1, 2, and 3. Um, now, just to show you that it doesn't have to be TNT, if we'll just put another thing here, and let's just pick another entity. So, uh, how about we shoot out a sheep? Why not? Okay, so um, let's just take the command that's in here, since it's already there and easy to get. We don't need the fuse anymore, because we're not using TNT, and we want to summon a sheep capitalization matters okay and goodbye sheep splat okay so that's it for the video um, let me know if this is something that you like I just thought it was something pretty interesting that you can do now that uh, you have this summon command and everything at your disposal and I just thought it was pretty interesting so if this is something that you'd like to see please let me know um, if there's something specific that you'd like to see I want to know that too um, primarily because I want to do videos that I think are that you guys will like, right? So uh, just let me know. Later.